Hi, and welcome to today's lesson on absolute value. Absolute value is the distance of a number from zero. The absolute value symbol looks like two straight lines or bars on either side of a number. Let's look at an example to see how absolute value works. Here we have the absolute value of negative six. Looking at negative six on the number line, I'm going to ask myself, how far is this number from zero? I can count over and I can see that it is a distance of six. So the absolute value would be six. Because I'm looking at distance, my absolute value answers must always be on the positive or zero side of the number line. I cannot have negatives as an answer for absolute value. Let's think of absolute value like length and time. You can't have a negative time or a negative length. So if you associate absolute value with distance and you know that distance is a length, you should know that your answer will never be negative. We don't say that our answer is always positive because zero is neither negative nor positive, but it is an absolute, an absolute value. Let's try some more examples. I want to know what the absolute value of two is. I can use this number line to help me. I know that two is right here and there is a distance of one, two to get to zero. So the absolute value of two is two. Next, I have negative five. If I were to count the distance between negative five and zero, I go one, two, three, four, and five. So the absolute value of negative five is five. For 11, I know that I'm following the same type of pattern. So I know that my absolute value here would be 11 as well because I cannot have a negative as an answer for absolute value. Pause the video and see if you can do the next three on your own. Play the video again when you're ready for the answers. Hopefully you've taken some time to try these by yourself. The absolute value of negative nine is the distance from negative nine back to zero, which is positive nine. The absolute value of five is five. This is an interesting example because we can see that we have the same answer with two different numbers because negative five and five are both the same distance from zero. They have the same absolute value. Finally, we know that zero is not any place value away from zero. So the answer here is zero. So the absolute value of zero will always be zero itself. Let's recap. The absolute value is the distance from zero. Opposite numbers have the same absolute value because they are the same distance from zero. We looked at that with our example of negative five and positive five, both having the same absolute value of five. Distance is the same as length, which cannot be negative. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.